some way injured, most certainly. But in terms of just a man walking around, no, you'll find the hyenas are a little bit more nervous of you and they, they'll just kind of run away. They don't really give us too much of a problem. But look at those two. Aren't they just the cutest things? <laughs> Mom is a jungle gym again this morning, so Gwen is resting in her usual position. And, well, when she rests like this, it seems these two just love to climb all over her and up and onto her neck and her shoulders, and they bite her and they groom her, and it's not so fun when they do this. So it's always really cool when we get to get the den at this time of the day, and they are active. And it seems as though later in the morning it seems to be better for this lot. They like to be out when it's a bit warmer, and the cold, you find probably these little ones are... You know, they don't like the cold just yet. They're not built up. They don't have a huge amount of fat on their body and very little at the end of the day. So they need to spend time inside and stay nice and warm. I can hear something moving around close by. I wonder if there isn't another hyena around. You can see Gwen every now and then just lifts her head to look. Oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> Nothing like using mom as a pillow. And I'm so glad to see that they're doing fine because often when we get cold snaps like what we just had from very warm weather to cold weather, it's, you find that there sometimes can be casualties in young animals. We see it a lot with the impala lambs when we get very cold bursts when it's been warm. And so I'm glad that these two are fine. And that's the advantage of having a den site. So having a place like a termite mound where they can go inside and stay out of that freezing cold wind will mean that these guys actually will be quite warm. Also, you'll find that that termite mound is going to absorb heat through the sun, and so it will keep those guys nice and warm inside there. Mom's rest is not over, I'm afraid, or it's not about to begin, put it that way. She might have been out all night, but little ones are starting to play. And you can see a size comparison. It's amazing that that little thing will eventually be the size of its mother. Little ear grooming. <laughs> You can't put your head inside there, no. <laughs> These two are just too cute. And you can see the one is much lighter on the head already than the other one. So one has got a more kind of hyena. It will also... ...age that we'll start to see them lightening up fairly shortly. <laughs> what are you doing in that ear? Right, well, we're going to enjoy our bundles of fur, but I believe Jamie's got some lions on the hunt, so let's quickly jump across to her.